What is going on to you Geminis out there? Hope y'all are having a great day. So look, you Geminis have the Ten of Pentacles, the Devil, and you have the Judgment. So for you Geminis, this right here is a situation for you where a lot of people don't really want to actually see you do good, unfortunately, right? A lot of them, a lot of people don't really, specifically the people from the past, don't really want you to get yourself into a brand new relationship with anyone else that can actually understand you and understands the fine art of reciprocation. So, a lot of you Geminis already know what time it is. You know that ultimately you're looking for that right person. The devil and the judgment represents people are going to look at you like you're crazy, even though you Geminis know good and well that a relationship cannot work unless it's two people putting in an effort actively to become a relationship, to become better, to become a stronger pair. And unfortunately, what a lot of other people, your exes, in particular, if we're talking about specifics, and we are, your exes, uh, if you have them on social media, uh, like I said before, I or if you're still in communication with them, even if you're not, and, they're, and you may think that they're just stalking your social media page, they definitely don't want you getting anywhere. And even if you're not necessarily in, con in connection with them, this really very much so speaks to how you uh, Geminis feel like, or not even feel per se. You have feelings, but you observed, right? That the general consensus is you Geminis deserve not to have anything. And you Geminis understand how lame that is because this is this is the crooks of it. This is the crooks of the reading. Very important. First three cards is usually the most important in when it comes to my readings. Because it sets the entire rest of the of the table up. And what I mean by that is the the devil and the judgment, right? Is about how a lot of you Geminis are seen as the devil. Because you have common sense because you Geminis understand that a relationship is not about bashing the other person, treating the other person like trash, looking to see what you can get out of the other person. It, <clears throat> it's about actually having some form of love, some form of love and value towards the other person and stuff like this. So because of that, so because of that, um, a lot of you Geminis understand, a lot of you Geminis understand that it's not about, uh, you know, people being disrespectful to you and trying to take you for everything that you have and mistreating you. It is about people having to actually put in effort to a relationship because like it is that I said before, it takes two. Don't worry about it. I got you, baby. I got you, baby. Don't worry about it. I got you. But um, uh, my dog was there, so I was like, okay, why not pick her up, right? But um, I love you. But anyway, so um, you get looked at like a villain for that. You know, you get looked at like the devil for that. Real talk. You get looked at like that. And a lot of you Geminis understand that that's whack. Because the judgment represents, yeah, people, yeah, people put in some form of judgmental mentality, you know, some form of judgment thrown, they're throwing judgment your way, but they have absolutely no reason to throw judgment your way. And the reason why they're throwing it your way in the first place is because of the fact that you Geminis are actually the ones that are mature and they are not, you know, like I said before, relationships is not about you know, regardless of whatever kind of relationship you have with the person, if you're saying that this person is going to be in your life long term and they're going to be in your life long term, that makes absolutely no sense to find yourself talking about how you love this person 
and you cherish this person and you love this person, but then it's like, you don't ever think about how you can contribute to this person's life. I mean, and the thing about it is, this is why it is that I said it's not transactional because it's not because <laughs> if you love somebody that's inherent for you to want to give to a person. Like there is no, like you can't say that you love somebody and then it, it never ran across your mind. You know what, maybe I should give get this person some roses. Maybe I ought to give this person a, a gift. And, and, and it's not planned because you think about the person, right? And you think about the person and you said, you know what, you love the person so much it's something that comes to you as spontaneous, right? Right, in 2020, I got my mom a pair of, not a pair, excuse me. In 2020, I got my mom some roses. It was free roses, free growing, right? And I said, you know what? I took me a pair of scissors. I went outside, I knew where the roses were because I live in an apartment and I essentially clipped them, right? And clipped a few, not a, a lot, but I clipped a few, like two or three, and I went ahead and 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 uh, I gave it to my mom and I said, "Here for for Mother's Day, you know, that's a display of love, regardless of whatever kind of love you're talking about. It's still the same, like the same principles apply, but in different ways. In a romantic relationship, uh, a a a difference would apply in a sense of like." a relationship with someone that you are romantically interested in, if you catch my drift. So that's one of the ways that it would differ from a family member, platonic situation. But it's still the same principles. If a person loves you, Gemini, they are going to give to you naturally. You, it's, it, it's, it's deeper than having to count. It's deeper than, well, you did this and did and did this. I must, I must, like my mom has done my family has done countless, I don't I don't count, <laughs> you know? That's why I'm saying it's countless because I literally don't count. I don't keep track of that stuff. And I've must have, and I've must have done countless things for my family as well, either in their honor that they are not aware of, that I do not speak about, you know, defending their honor when they're not even in the room. So obviously they're not going to get a chance to really, you know, see me do that type of stuff. But defend them when they're not there. You know what I mean? When other people uh, were stupid enough to, to talk to me about my own family and call my own family dorks, I stood up for them. Of course, they're not around to see that. You know what I mean? They're, they wouldn't be around to see that because they weren't there at the time. But the point that I'm trying to make here with all of this is a person cannot say that with a straight face that they love you and that they actually care for you. If these are the same individuals that actually don't think about you and then they think about trying to offer you the world that comes out as gifts. Right. Right. It becomes transactional when you do that a little bit too much. Now it becomes more about the physical things that a person can give the person more than it is the spiritual connection that you have with somebody. And then the gifts are actually mistakes, because that's the other thing, too, that a lot of people don't talk about. The gifts, the contributions that you give to the person is not planned. The more the more. The, on a, the, the more a person plans something, come here, baby. Come here. Come here. The more a person plans something on a regular basis is the more transactional it becomes. You know, I went and I bought, you know what I mean? I, I, I remember, look, I remember getting somebody who I really liked. As a matter of fact, it was the Gemini. But I remember getting the Gemini that I was really in love with, a book on William Shakespeare, right? And some of William Shakespeare's greatest quotes and like poems and scriptures, you know, stuff that William Shakespeare had written down, plays and stuff like this as well. 
And some people who going to be watching this are going to be like, yo, that's lame. No, the Gemini liked William Shakespeare. So I said, okay, I'm going to go ahead and get uh, the book with, with, uh, on William Shakespeare. And in it, I wrote something real romantic, but it was short, sweet, to the point. I wrote in it just because it's Tuesday. Put it in it with my name, put it on a bed. You know what I mean. But the point is, I didn't, I didn't plan that. All of this stuff was happened in a matter of of an hour. The world and the lovers now is about how so a lot of you Geminis have to remember that while people are doing that, it's 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 game. Right? Lovers represent Gemini. So you showed up in your own reading. You have to not allow yourself to get caught up with any of this nonsense because it's all game at the, at the end of the day. And what I mean when I say that it's all game, I'm talking about you Geminis have to understand that you cannot get caught up with the dysfunction of thinking that maybe you Geminis are in the wrong because whenever it is that you feel like you go to other people and you may have asked them for help in the past or you go to or you may have went to that somehow they start bashing you and start talking about how you're the one that's terrible. You're a cheapskate, you know. You don't offer anything to anybody. You don't bring anything to the table. You don't. You don't bring anything to the to the table. I'm I'm working on I'm working on 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 purchasing land, which obviously, if you do the math, obviously. The person who I get with will be a landowner as well. So, uh, you know, obviously, right? So it's like, how could I, I don't offer anything, but yet I'm offering land as another list on a, on a list of things that I do. Or, like, okay. The, the two of swords, so the ten of swords and the, and the fool here is about how a lot of you Geminis still put yourselves out there. So you know that it's cap. You know that a lot of the, the nonsense and the mind games of other people, how it is that they plan, is full of it. You Geminis know good and well that you, you have to protect yourself out here. Because if you leave it to these indecent mugs out here, they're not going to. They're going to have you laced up with no soul, literally. The Page of Pentacles and the Page of Swords represents, yeah, you have to protect yourself. That's the same situation, though. You Geminis can't allow yourself to be caught slipping. Somebody just, what, just tell you that they love you, tell you that they like you, and then the next thing that you know, you decide, you know, you're going to be with them just because of the fact that, you know, you want to act like you, you know, you want to act like you, you, you trying to save somebody or save a relationship because you're so desperate for it. You Geminis know what time it is. You can't get yourselves caught up in a relationship out here just because people trying to make it seem like they 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 like you or they tell you that they like you. They have to show and prove that with time. They you know that. You Geminis are smart enough to know that. And the seven of wands represents but you Geminis also are smart enough to know that most people ain't checking for that. They not look, they're not, I, I said this before and I'm gonna say it again, most people aren't ready to be in a real relationship like that. This is why the world, this is part of why the world is what it is. I'm, I'm, I'm telling you Geminis, I'm telling you beloved Geminis the answer because people are delusional. They're caught up with this ideology of, well, I gotta, I gotta con, I gotta prey on this person's kindness. I'm a freeloader. I have to, I have to benefit off of other people's generosity in order for me to survive. And it's like, no, they don't. They choose to be dysfunctional like that because they're trying to create this narrative or construe this narrative or warp this narrative that being a lambone, you know what I mean? I love that. Being, you know, look it up. 
L-A-M-B-O-N, right? It's Spanish. But being a lambon, right, is somehow, or a freeloader, is somehow, uh, uh, you know, wisdom and strength and stuff like this. And it's like, no, it's not. So a lot of you Geminis know that you have to cover your own six. You have to watch your own back. Right. You have to be smart about how you Gemini's actually approach love, because the minute that you start talking about you all, you all cupcaked up with this person and y'all and you calling this person your hubby or your your wifey and y'all move in and y'all doing this and doing that. You understand that that's a that's a dangerous game that you playing can't just pick you just you gemini's understand that you just can't pick up anybody and just decide to just pick them up just simply be based upon the fact that they said that they love you people can say whatever it is that they want to do you know how many people who like to play games and stuff like this can say that they love you with a straight face and and then go smash and lay up with somebody else so you Geminis know what time it is. Let's clarify the lovers. You Geminis know that. You know what time it is. You have the Empress, the Five of Swords, the Seven of Cups. You have the uh, Nine of um, Swords. And then you have the Nine of, of uh, Wands. So yeah, so this is what it is. This is what it is that I'm talking about. Come here, baby. Come here, baby. We're gonna go ahead and help you i got you baby but um the uh as you can hear my dog's pretty happy but um the empress and the five of swords to clarify the lovers right which is gemini the lovers is gemini from the major uh arcana is the lovers right um the empress and the five of swords right here for you gemini's is about how and if a person is petty then obviously, you know what I mean? You Geminis understand that it's going to create nothing but arguments and, and dysfunction while it is that you Geminis call yourself trying to date them. You know that if a person is that immature already, you Geminis know that you can't get yourselves caught up with them because there's nothing that can come from this type of relationship but dysfunction, nonsense, idiocracy waste of time waste of money waste of effort you it's a waste of you even thinking about them in the first place the seven of cups here and the nine of swords is all about how you gemini's have to adapt to the situation so you gemini's have to look at different aspects about who a person actually is and see if they're how, what qualities are they bringing to the table You Geminis understand this. This is what the Seven of Cups represents. It's not always about having multiple partners or potential partners. The Seven of Cups can also represent paying attention to see how qualified the person is who calls themselves trying to actually be on dates. The Nine of Swords now is about how it is that a lot of you are... The Nine of Swords is about how it is that a lot of you are very much so aware of this. And you are aware that, you know, people just are not ready to be on, on, they just can't get to your level, Gemini. The ability to be in a relationship and actually contribute actually causes other people mental pain. They can't, they find it hard to have to actually contribute to anything other than their own overly selfish endeavors. It's, 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 it's narcissism. And you Geminis understand how much, how much, how deeply narcissistic an individual actually is, or how, you know, the state of relationships actually are. So a lot of you definitely keep need to keep your eyes open. And then you have the nine of wands, right? Which is about, you're gonna continue to keep trying but now I want you Geminis to understand, right? For me to add another another layer into it, you Geminis do not have to stay in your nearest surroundings. You Geminis can travel. And I'm a big advocate for traveling, considering that I've been doing it the majority of my life. 
came up here from Trinidad when I was four years old. I've been to Philadelphia a couple of times, like six, seven times. I've been to Washington, D.C. You know what I'm saying? Pretty much can catch a flight anywhere that I want to. Um, so a lot of you Geminis have to understand that you're dating for you and finding someone is not localized. If you see that these people around you are weirdos, they don't want to do right, they want to be on some nonsense, they want to they want to get you caught up in mind games to get you to put yourself on a back burner for everything. You do not have to date near your local your local post office. You do not have to date near your local post office. You could most definitely take a flight outward and go anywhere in the world where it is that you can afford to go.